Greetings my friends and welcome to Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD, a mod for Attila Total War that some people have even gone as far as to call it the unofficial Medieval 3 Total War. Now I don't usually cover newer Total War games, however this mod just looks absolutely fantastic, and I'm a sucker for the medieval time period as well. So I decided to go ahead and make a campaign on this mod. Now I'm going in as blind as you can be. I've only played a little bit of Attila Total War and I am in general pretty unfamiliar with the mechanics of more modern Total War games, and I also haven't yet played any campaign on the 1212 AD mod. Now as for my faction, as you can see there are many to choose from, so I have decided to pick Flanders, because that's roughly where I live and it looks like a fun challenge. So without further ado, let us jump in. Alright, here we are on the campaign map, and before we start, of course, a massive shout out to all the people that helped develop this mod. Here they are all listed. If you see yourself there, good job. I will not be in this list because I don't know how to mod, sadly, so I have massive respect for people that have not only the ability to do so and, and the knowledge to do so, but also you know, the willingness to spend all their time doing that and helping make mods like this, which give some older games and also some newer games just so much more replayability and just playability in general. Anyway, the Pope. As a Catholic faction, you must play a precarious game of managing the opinion of the clergy. At the helm of the clergy lies the Pope, supreme ruler of the Catholic Church. Appeasing the Pope may be in your best interest, as displeasing him can have dire consequences. Ooh, I immediately get flashbacks from Medieval 2 Total War, where juggling the opinion of the Pope is also just an entire meta game on its own. War Weariness The sign of a great leader is in knowing how far your people can be pushed. Wars are significant, dramatic events that should not be undertaken lightly. Okay, so I assume if we are at war for too long or just too many battles at the same time, the people will not like it and they'll get tired of it, which... Makes sense, I kind of like that, it's it's very much more accurate. Okay, here we are, and it's very much alien territory for me. Not the territory itself, because I live... Um, let's see, the map isn't exactly accurate, and should kind of be tilted a little bit. Also, Antwerp, it seems, is here on the left side of the skelet, whilst it should be on the right side, and I'm not sure what this body of water is supposed to represent. Um, but I, I live roughly around here, I would say, ish. Kinda. So I maybe I should have picked um, Brabant, looking back, but I have gone for Antwerp, just... Uh, not Antwerp, for Flanders, just because of the name, really. So we start off with the King's Justice, and here is our Count, the Count of Flanders. His name is Ferdinand. He's a young chap with a nice moustache going on. I'm kind of jealous of that. And we have the settlement of Tournai. Okay, what do we have there? A large city, so much stuff on the left, they can't even display it on the monitor. A water mill, muster grounds, and a wheat field. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, we do have some sanitation issues, it seems. Uh, yeah, there's more squalor than sanitation. Now, as you probably can tell, I am very much new to 1212 AD, as well as the Tittle Total War, so a lot of things will be new to me. Uh, which kind of does add in the difficulty, which will be fun, of course, but uh, I do ask for your patience as I figure everything out along the way, pretty much. Uh, let's check our diplomacy first and foremost, just to see what's going on. We have one ally, which is England. Okay, makes sense. That's a very powerful ally to have. Uh, not at war with anyone. We do have trade rights with France. Who are these guys? Trier and Brabant. Okay, that's quite nice. Uh, let's see, can I throw in any more trade rights? No, they're all greyed out, or redded out, basically. Okay, I don't really need any other alliances, I think. What I kind of want to do is wait for England and France to go to war, and then I can just kind of snatch some territories from France. I think that's a good strategy, to be fair, because on my own, I do believe Brabant is um, part of the Holy Roman Empire, right? It should be. Checking the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Mm, doesn't seem like they are. So maybe I should go to war with them. They don't have any allies. I can snatch Antwerp. Hmm, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, I think what I'll do is... I can upgrade my muster grounds to the training grounds or siege engineers, which does give me ballista and catapult. That sounds like a good deal if I want to do some battles. I can also upgrade my mill. 
to a forge mill, which gives me more money, but it does increase my squalor and reduce my public order, which isn't perfect. I am still growing, which is quite good, but more money is always nice. Hmm. I, can I afford both? Oh, I cannot. I'm 500 short. Damn it! Alright, anyway, what shall I research in my technology? Oh, they take 20 turns to get for military tech and 10 for civic tech. Hmm. So we can either get composite laths, which increases our towers and allows us to build a city gatehouse. So that's for the defensive stuff. Crusader kings for, I assume, better knights. Advanced castle architecture, which allows us to upgrade some buildings, including getting a third tier of the engineer workshop. That might be useful. Tail mounted rudders, which upgrades our Boats for navies, yes. A windmill. Mendicant orders, which allows us to get the monastery, which is a good way to get beer, I assume. City charters, which gives us a lot of stuff. Extra growth, extra pop growth. And a bunch of buildings, okay. Or gothic architecture, which gives us a couple buildings plus some religious influence. At the moment, the city charters and the windmill seem the most interesting. I think I'll go for the city charters, just because it gives me growth all round, which is very, very useful if I want to upgrade my settlements, because then I can get extra uh, slots for buildings. Okay, I do have a lot of units. I could disband them to get some more money. They do cost me quite a bit of cash. However, if I want to go to war, if anyone attacks me... Let's see, do I have any garrison in Turne? Yeah, I have a relatively small garrison. Hmm... I think I'll get rid of more of my expensive units. Let's see. Except the ones I can't retrain, of course. Yeah, I'll just get rid of these guys, because if I need them back, I can retrain them in very quick succession. There we go. That's an extra 300, roughly. Uh, crossbow militia. Can I train those? I can. They only take one turn to get. So I'll get rid of them. I can't retrain the cavalry yet, so I'm going to leave those. Yeah, let's get rid of those as well. I don't think anyone is brave enough to attack me on turn one, right? Uh, I probably need to do some other stuff, but if I press end turn, yeah, the game tells me, which is one of the most useful features ever. And we need to assign a governor. All right, we got Etienne, who is a merchant. Wealth plus 10% from commercial buildings for govern province. Okay, that seems really useful. We got Hugh. Okay, he's very much a general type, not so much a governor. And we got Pierre, who is a strategist. He gets plus one cunning. Not sure what that is used for. But I do like Etienne and his merchant ability, so I will appoint you as a governor. There we go. And then I also need to issue an edict. What can we do? Religious tolerance. Public order minus 50% religious unrest. Okay, but we get minus 3 state religion per region in province. Okay, so we kind of allow the Protestants to get a foothold. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Organized militia drilling. Plus one experience and extra morale. Okay, could be useful. Raise levies for extra recruitment capacity. Okay. Construct rural way houses. Wealth plus 20% from agriculture and animal husbandry. Alright. Plus 20% from commerce and extra growth. Ooh, that sounds very good. Levy taxes, which increases the tax rate but reduces public order. Makes sense. Empower local ruler, which decreases maintenance cost. Not sure what that is exactly. Uh, decreases tax rate, which is a bad thing. And increase public order. Out of all these things, the rural wayhouses seem the most useful, and not by a little bit, but by a lot. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> I feel like a war between France and England is, like, unavoidable, right? They're like Scots and Scots, they hate each other so much they just have to fight. <laughs> like brother and sister, like cat and dog. What is this? Defamation. An unscrupulous rival... That's not a rival, that's a clone. Has spread foul rumors about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Hmm, I can't even pay him off because I don't have enough influence. Yeah, I need 15 influence, I only have 12. That's pretty pathetic. Uh, so I can only do ignore, which reduces my control and I get the out of favor trait. Hmm, not sure what that does. Balance of power. Oh, what is this? Oh no! People don't like me anymore. I need to gain control. Ah. Damn you. Who was it? Was it... It was Etienne, right? That asshole. I just promoted you and everything, and you're already talking about me behind my back. You absolute donkey. Alright, let's get some siege equipment. When we go to war, inevitably, against France, when we take Rouen, we need to be prepared. 
Oh, that is happening quite a bit faster than expected. Uh, so England already declared war on France. They have the Duchy of Burgundy to help them out, however they don't really like each other. Uh, balance of power is not looking good though. But still, I need to join England, otherwise England will hate me. And this is the only opportunity I'll get to attack France. So the plan is to have England do all the fighting, <laughs> and I'll take all the settlements. I, th I feel like that's a fair trade, right? England, you should stay in England, right? Just send some armies, but you don't need to control continental Europe. You don't even like our food and our traditions. I can appreciate them a whole lot more. Alright, let's get some units. Um, when I think France, I think knights. So I think pikes would be very useful. I can choose between the Baker's Guild pikemen or hooked pikemen. These guys are a little bit more expensive. They have more armor. 25 versus 45. That's literally the only difference. And they are quite a bit more expensive. As well in upkeep. So I think I'll just get the hooked pikemen. Let's get four of those. Let's get some crossbows. It will take me a couple turns. That's okay. I want time to prepare. Uh, and Dach militia. Hmm, spear militia. They deal armor-piercing damage, which sounds pretty good. Oh, it's gonna take a little bit to get my troops. Um, textile cutters, good and dark. Good armor-piercing damage. Oops, clicking the wrong thing there. How expensive are they? They're quite a bit more expensive. These guys are very, very cheap, though. The good and militia. But their morale is probably really bad as well. No, it's actually not that bad. These guys have worse morale. Yeah, it's pretty much the same model as every other unit. Ah, oh, but they take two turns to get. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. It'd be silly just to get all pikemen. Yeah, no, let's get some spear militia just to fill in the ranks. And then hopefully by then, two more turns, I can get some siege equipment as well. Maybe it wouldn't be bad if France makes the first move. And I can... Okay, England's going all in, man. And I can kind of route out an army in a defensive fight. Oh boy. To be fair, I don't even know if my first battles will go well. I haven't fought a battle in Total War Attila in like years. Literal years. <laughs> Sometimes I use custom battles with the Rise of Mordor submod uh, to record intros for my Divide and Conquer campaigns. But uh, that's pretty much as far as that goes. So yeah. Alright, get those units. Can I get a spy or anything like that? That's an agent, right? No, I can't. I need the necessary buildings for that. Uh, let's see here. So, our forge mill is finished. Our siege engines will be finished in the next turn. We are making a nice amount of cash despite our training of units. No mercenaries available. Yeah, let's just keep waiting. Aragorn has also declared war on France. That's quite good. So, France has a lot of enemies. No surprise there. Who, who likes the French anyway? Yeah, they have a lot of enemies, and they only have one ally, which is Burgundy. So they're all with us, England, Toulouse, and Aragon, which is part of Spain. Alright, so far so good. The music's also very quiet at the moment. It's like the quiet before the storm. Okay, England's going in. Just give me like two more turns and I'll be there. Please, England. Don't take Rouen before I can arrive. Please, I want it so bad. <laughs> I do like that... Unlike Rome 2 and Attila, they don't have like multiple regions per province, it seems, as far as I can tell. It's really just settlement is a province and just get rid of that difference, which is... I never liked in the first place anyway. Alright, let's get uh, Ballista or Catapult. I feel like for taking down settlement, a Catapult is more suited, but it will take a couple turns to get... Ugh. Yeah, it will take a couple turns. Uh, let's get some Falcon Militia, why not? It looks cool. So three turns and I can join with a full army. Can I do anything in terms of upgrading? Not at the moment. Okay, so just let's see. At the end we can upgrade him. Well, he's a governor. Plus 20%. Yeah, that seems like a good thing. Did I just already get that? Yeah, I don't need authority. I don't need cunning. I need you to govern. Uh, do you have one more? Oh, you have one more. I guess cunning can't hurt. Unless he becomes too cunning for his own good and he starts undermining me. <laughs> I never liked that about those newer games, man. You have to, like, figure out political stuff, and it's difficult. If I was good at politics, I'd be a politician. And despite me being good at bullshitting my way through videos for, like, an hour, I wouldn't make a good politician, I don't think. 
don't think I have the necessary skills for that. I'm too empathic. Political Dane. This man, hungry for power, has positioned himself to take office without your approval. He may be suited to the task, but can you afford to let his ambitions threaten your family's power? So this guy's just getting more and more powerful, and me, the actual ruler, is being put behind. And he becomes a castle, and I just lose control. Maybe I should put them at the head of an army and have him meet an unfortunate accident featuring a catapult. Oh, why are you so mean, man? So he made himself a castle. And I need to get myself a position as well, then, or what? I need to do something. I mean, marrying a 14-year-old as a 27-year-old is maybe not the best way to start my career. I mean, I guess in the time period it doesn't really matter, but still. <laughs> For personal reasons. Oh, man, I'm being out-politicked because I'm mustering men. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is difficult. I bet I'm already going to get so many comments on this first episode where people are like, What the hell are you doing? How did you manage to screw up so many things just by doing nothing? What is this? The Fifth Crusade, Fourth Council of the Lateran. Pope Innocent III proclaimed a new crusade to free the whole land from the Saracens of the Fourth Council of the Lateran held this year. Various Catholic rulers will soon be asked to join the crusade, though its intended target is not precisely known. Dude, I have other stuff to attend to. Uh, should I try to do the... Mm, I could wait one more turn and have three catapults, which is going to be... <laughs> maybe a little bit overkill at that. Yeah, we'll wait for the extra catapults and then we can move to Rouen immediately. I, I really want to know what's going on there. Whether or not England's already besieging it or doing anything. Uh, no extra trade rights. Although I've lost a trade partner in France, which is a little bit annoying. But I imagine once my faction leader actually goes to war and he takes a couple settlements, his... What is it? Is his influence, his political... Points will go up a little bit, right? The people will love it when we take some settlements. And then they'll get tired of war and they'll hate us. So, yeah, it's a bit of a balancing act. But on the next turn, we should be able to finally move out. Uh, no, 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 no! No! I don't want to be sick. Construct a building for the following chain religion. I can't build anything. So am I just going to spread the plague? I'm probably already sick, yeah. I'm going to spread the plague to France. Screw you, France. Okay, Rennes undefended. Although it probably has a garrison. Let's see. That's not that big of a garrison. They got a lot of archers. Crossbows as well. Sergeants and piétons. Two catapults that can place on a wall. But I have three catapults. I feel so well equipped for siege battles. Although the auto resolve doesn't really seem to agree. Placing it pretty much in the middle. Hmm, I could wait a turn, get some seed equipment like a ram. Like I can get towers. What is this? Siege tower, yeah. Hmm, one siege tower, one ram. Although I mostly want to use the catapult just to blow up the wall, right? Now let's do that. Let's just blow up the wall. That's a possibility in these games, right? Let's just go for it. What do we have to lose? Um, yeah. I'll see you on the battlefield, right? Alright. There is a bit of fog, so I'm going to wait. More fog. There we go. Dry. And suddenly, an entire city popped up. Oh, what have we got here? It's a port city. Looks pretty nice, I must admit. I'm not playing on the highest graphic settings because my PC just can't handle that, and... Due to scalpers, I haven't been able to upgrade my graphics card yet, which is a uh, GTX 970, in case you're curious. Okay, so my plan is just to blow up the wall, go in and kill everyone, which I think is the most unoriginal plan in the history of plans. I do have catapults, which hopefully outrange the towers. I want to attack from kind of multiple sides. Uh, let's see. And then let's put my units down. We'll take a look at the units in a moment, of course, because it's the first time we're seeing this. Um, not putting them in a very specific position just yet, as I will be sending them in whenever there's an opportunity to do so. Don't have regular archers, only crossbows. And I have some knights as well, which if I'm not mistaken, we can dismount them if we so please. Okay, I think everyone has a position. Uh, let's see here, what have we got? Ooh, look at that. Oh. Damn, they look cool. These are our spear militia. That's pretty much our cheapest unit in the Holy Rook. So damn cool. 
Then we have uh, Flemish Falcon Militia. Ooh, I like those Falcons. They look very, very cool. Nice. Uh, we got our knights here. That's our general. So that's Heavy Shock Cavalry, the Count of Flanders. Where is the general himself? Is he on this side? No. I'm not sure which one he is. Is he in the middle? Uh, this guy looks slightly fancier than the others and he's not carrying a land, so I assume this is our general. Very cool. Uh, we got more knechts here. Looking spicy. Some mounted sergeants. A little bit less fancy, but still look quite deadly. Our crossbows here. Crossbow militia. Very, very nice. And then our pride and joy of our army, our pikes. Hooked pikemen. Ready to kill any horses that try to move out or try to stop us. And then, of course, we have our catapults, which, well, they look like catapults. <laughs> Nothing crazy there. Uh, right, let's see, we've got multiple shots. What is this? Poison round? Okay, flaming round. Explosive round. Most efficient against tight formations. Okay. Well, I think we'll start by just taking down part of that wall. The part that they're occupying, specifically. This one's being... Are you being shot at? It says you're taking fire, but I'm not seeing anything. You're firing on that wall. Oh, they got a catapult. Is that one firing? Doesn't really look active. It looks kind of broken. Maybe my cat. Oh, I th guess my catapult already destroyed that. That's quite impressive. All right. If you could fire it on this part of the wall. Are those like random peasants just walking away? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh shit. Shit's about to go down. We better get out of here. All right. Now we have the brave defenders of France, Rouen, getting ready to the walls. They got lots of archers and they look quite nice. Their kettle helmets just gleaming in the sunset. It's almost romantic. And then we got some spears ready to guard the gate, although I will not be coming from the gate, my friends. Oh no. I have something far better in store. Also, can you not do like cinematic camera somehow and then you can like use the thing yourself? I can't remember how to do that, though. I thought that was an option. Menu... Hmm. I guess not. I could have sworn you could take, like, Siege equipment and control it. At least you could in Shogun. Hmm. I guess not. Unless... Hang on. I need... I want to look this up. I need to know it. Controls. Is that, like, cinematic mode? Campaign. No, it's not campaign. It's battle. Do, 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 do. Strafe unit, pan unit, create so much stuff, speed up camera, slow down camera. No, there's no... Oh wait, there is. Cinematic camera, insert. That's a weird button to put it at. Oh, and I can control it. Let's see. Yee! Please hit something. Oh! Ah, oh, almost hit a peasant. Curses. Reload! Ah, oh, that takes forever to reload. Can I just take another uh, catapult? No. Man, those reload times are cruel. I guess they, they put it like that, because I think it was shorter in vanilla, at least in Shogun. But I guess they do it so you don't, like, spam it, because you can abuse it pretty damn hard if you want to, like, focus a general or something. Alright, a fine hit over there. Fort Wall taking a nice bit of damage. However, we do need to get through it. Is that... Is this better versus can damage buildings? Damage buildings, which is best against buildings, though. Um, takes more time to reload. Most efficient against units on flammable ground and buildings. Okay, let's switch to fire rounds for everyone then. And perhaps I should also start fighting on the same target. There we go, our first fire shot. Yeah, I think if I destroy the wall when they're on top of it, they will take damage. Oh, we triggered a tower. That's okay. I've had worse. And if I have some ammo left afterwards, I can try to do the explosive shot. That does sound pretty spicy. Yeah, I think all my catapults should fight on the same target for now. Some cavalry running amok there. Although this one already was damaged quite a bit. That farm's on fire. I already hit some horses there. Poor lads. Oh, I like it. They got, like, their shields over the edge. That looks so cool. Even if it's unintentional, that looks epic. Alright. Oh, yeah. Give them hell, boys. Where's your god now? I mean, I know it's the same god, but I don't care. Mm, triggering a tower there. That's alright. Just destroy that wall and then 
through explosive rounds there. We <laughs> I want to kill most of them before we have to run in there. The Master Power is now a lot more in my favorite as well. I've already killed 26 dudes kind of by accident, which is nice. Fort wall. If I hit the gate, yeah, I have hit the gate somehow. Come on. Nice hit. How much does it do per hit? It's not that much, like, what, 4%? Oh, that was a hit. Come on. Don't bullshit me. Don't do me dirty. I'm using up so much ammo, and I'm just not destroying the damn wall. Ah, I should have enough ammo, right? They hit like that. But I, I was thinking of making like multiple holes that I can push through. Let's just go for standard shot. That seems to be doing a lot more. But at this rate, I'll only be able to destroy one part of the wall, which is quite annoying. Yeah, standard shot is definitely more accurate. So I'll make a hole there. Push in. Oh no, we've finally taken one casualty. Nope, not even. My catapult's also still working. Uh, that was completely by accident. Alright, stop firing for now. Um... Uh, you know what? No, 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 wait. Uh, what I'm going to do is put them on explosive rounds and then fire on their sergeant. Their sergeant's probably one of the better units. I really want to see that in action. They do still have a big chunk of towers. Uh, let's see. Well, it definitely feels like pikemen are the best to send in first, right? Send in the pikes. Send in everyone, why not? Don't run, though. Running will make you tired. Send in the cavalry as well, in case they try to come forth. You can intercept them. Crossbows can come in as well. Alright, let's see some of these explosive rounds. Ooh, damn. They seem quite, uh, quite effective. How many have we killed? Uh, almost 100. That's decent. Onagers! So they've completely banned this right side, it seems. And now going for the left side, although it seems they're pulling back already to their barricades. Interesting. Yes, blow them to pieces! Rouen is ours. Stupid French people. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way, I, I love the French. Can't wait to go on vacation again, and France will probably be one of the first locations I'll go to when, when we can travel again. Burn their crops. Kill that banner carrier is way too fancy of a man. <laughs> Can't have that. Alright. Oh, look at that. This mod is... If anything, it's cinematic. Just look at that. All those knights, <laughs> instead of going round, we will all cross this damn fence. It's the holy fence. Oh, we actually broke it. Like, most went through it so elegantly, and then just one guy just bulldozed it. And they're moving like with their shields up. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Ah, oh, it looks so pretty, man. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Alright, nothing too new to report. We have a couple volleys left, but not that many. Their strongest units have taken a bit of a beating. I also imagine it's pretty bad for them morale. To be dealt that damage with those explosive bombs. Alright. The thing is, my pikemen... I feel like they're going to be very good at just pushing through here. Because they can keep the enemy at bay. And they have their cavalry here as well. If they move those in, French cavalier. Or chevalier, excuse me. We should be able to deal such good damage to them. We haven't really lost anyone at this point. Actually hit their chevalier. <laughs> just one lucky shot is all it takes, man. Alright. Uh, get in pike wall. And then the second one already as well. Alright, push! The first proud Flemings to cross into Rouen. Hello there! We are your new overlords. Pleased to meet you. And this time is going to be annoying. Yeah, send in your cavalry, why don't you? Alright, I think I have my crossbows here. The crossbows are going to have an awkward angle either way. Now, you know what? I put you here. Crossbows aren't very good at this kind of fighting. They would be better in a field battle or a defensive siege battle, perhaps. Right, they got some cavalry that we should be able to just obliterate. So 
bit of an awkward shuffling about. And those towers are devastating. Maybe I should have prioritized them a little bit more. Alright, that knight should be getting destroyed. Oh my god, what happened here? How did they suddenly lose so many? I'm not sure what happened there. But they are losing a lot of dudes. Is that because of my own catapult? I'm not sure. Alright. They're losing a lot of dudes. How? I'm not sure I'm not sure how they're dying so fast. They're dying in like droves. Just get inside. The men that are inside seem to be safer at this point. Alright, can you take down the gatehouse? You probably can, yeah. Need to learn these mechanics and unlearn some other mechanics that I have bottled up in my brain. My crossbow is able to fire it at all? Eh, seemingly. The hunger for blood. Okay, their knights are getting destroyed against my pikemen. Yeah, I'm probably causing some friendly fight as well. <laughs> that doesn't help, I imagine. You're running the wrong way! Where are you going? Keep fighting. Get in there! Oh my god, carpet. Nice shot. That doesn't really seem to kill anyone. Like even if they hit, eh, that killed a few. Alright, are we taking... Are we hitting the gate? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, but the gate doesn't seem too impressed by it. Oh, that chevaliers are running through. Uh, Knights. That's where you come in, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I like to see. So the catapults... Uh, they're a bit meh. I guess I should look towards cannons and trebuchets because they are not really doing that great of a job. Okay, we've taken the gate. No, oh, don't break. Ah, oh, you fools. But did you break as well? Attacked in flank. Yeah, no surprise if you run out like that. If you just stayed in your position, you would be fine. I think that's their general. Is, is the general broken? Yeah, they're routing. So now we have the gate, so we can get in there. And then we can sandwich their men. I guess this battle is kind of good for me to get my bearings. Because I'm losing a lot of my dudes. I'm not playing that well, but it's good practice. Yes, rally! King, you should lead them. Or oh, duke, I should say. Not king. Not yet. Then we got Pieton Levis. I could dismount my knights, my knechts. They're probably the strongest melee force I have anyway. Um, get in there. It's very hard to tell who's who, but I do believe I'm pushing through. They're up against some sergeants. My general is a brave man. I can rally. Doot doot. Uh, do I need to run a specific unit? Yeah, I'm not sure what that does, but hey, I can read it actually. Target ground, plus one morale for those in a specific area. Alright, get in there, knights. Give them a charge. You can't give them a charge? Uh, you can go through the gate. Why are they refusing to go through the gate? Or... Okay, if they want to push through like that, fine, be my guess. Man, it is such a gruesome fight here. The archers are trying to keep us at bay. They must be low on reserves then. But the Flemish lion will reign supreme! You get your stupid lily out of here, buddy. <laughs> We've captured the gate. And taken the tower as well. So now can we actually go through... Uh, moving. We have the gate, right? Yes. The Flemish lion is flying on top of it. So now we should be able to just charge in through there, right? And that should be able to do a lot of damage. 
I'm sending my general in just because he needs to get his sword wet. He needs to prove himself. Or his successor will. Alright, is there going to be an actual charge in there? Because that would be fantastic. Open the gate! Yes! Yes! Oh, that is fantastic charge. No, don't run! A shameful display, this is our hour! Damn, I forgot how difficult morale is in this game. I'm used to playing Divide and Conquer where units almost never route. <laughs> Very rarely, even. Yes, the battle is ours, we got this! How many have they got left? Eh, less than half. And now we have cavalry inside that is just screwing them over. Yes! Alright, General, get outside again. Some men are running, but they are cowards, they are fools. They're not worthy of victory! Okay, maybe they are if they regroup. <laughs> They're still welcome. But I should get my general to safety. I should be probably a little bit more careful with my general as opposed to when I'm playing Medieval 2. I do think they're <laughs> it's a little bit more dangerous here to use them like that. All willy-nilly. Okay, who's still standing? Um, I guess we'll go for the town square. What is this place? It's a victory point? Battlefield wide morale bonus. Let's take that real quick, because morale's a bit of a bitch. I don't think so. Yes, cavalry reigns supreme even inside a settlement. What I do like about it is that you can move the camera so much more dynamically. And also cinematic mode looks, I don't know, just better. <laughs> it, does, it does look very, very, very nice. And the mod itself looks even nicer than vanilla Attila. Vanilla Attila, as far as I can remember at least. Oh shit, are they going after my general right there? It's very hard to tell what's going on exactly. No, those are runners, right? I'm gonna pull back my general. Alright, take it! Damn those towers fighting on my dudes. Oh, it's taking so long. Fuck it, I'm just going for the town square. Uh, what have they got left? Barely anything. 273. That's mostly these guys, I assume. They're connecting there as well. They've been fighting for such a long time and doing such a well job. Such a good job. Damn. Ferdinand keeps taking damage. Damn, man. These stupid towers. It's not worth it. <laughs> it takes too long. <laughs> I guess Cavalry gets a bit of a, a debuff for taking towers, because that's taking forever. Alright, it is done, 233. Oh, there we go. There's a general! Pierre! Look at that fancy man! Fancy pants! You get a cap charge! Oh, yes. Ooh, my god, you just felt that impact. That was fantastic. Wow, we lost like 40 in that charge, and that's... This is a relatively early tier unit. Ah, oh, victory! Very, very nice. Alright. Close victory. Yeah, it was a hard fight, but it was my first fight, so... You know, the only way is up from here. We're only going to get better. And I'm quite pleased with that. Let's take a quick peek at the results. Which does take place during the loading screen. So we deployed uh, 1780. They deployed 10... Or uh, 1k, and we lost about one third of our army. They will replenish quite easily though, uh, and they are gone. So we now have Rouen, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. And there we go. Your headbutt is powerless against my sword. Our first settlement, and we've just doubled our territory. Yes! A close victory indeed. Um, oh, what do I want to do? I think I want to simply occupy, even though people will hate me for a little bit. But I don't, I don't want to establish myself as a cruel leader, man. I want to be a nice ruler. I want the people of Rouen to be happy to be part of Flanders now. Alright. So, yeah, they hate us. And we need to repair everything, pretty much. Alright, don't worry. I can do that. Now that we have Rouen as well, that will, like, double our income, right? It's another port city, which is... Well, actually, Tournai isn't even a port city. We do have access to the sea, but this is an actual port city. Nice. 
Okay, that's quite cool. I still don't know where England is. Oh, judging by the campaign map, they're already at Paris. Jesus Christ, England. I do need to wait a couple turns to get my men back up to, uh, to power. Oh, oh, I can get very good units here. I can get this mounted connects, which is basically the unit I was using before, right? These connects, except double their numbers. That sounds very good. They did a lot of good damage there in that last fight. Sergeant Falconeers, Levy Archers, Knechts, Men at Arms, Mounted Sergeants. Yeah, let's get some dismounted Knechts. It's going to be fantastic. Um, well, let's end the turn, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else I need to do unless this opened up new diplomatic trade routes. It actually did. So we can trade with either Bologna. That sounds pretty good. Toulouse. I feel like Toulouse would be a useful ally because they're at war with France as well. They're friends with Aragon. Castilla. We don't trade with England yet. Well, that seems like a no-brainer then. That is absolute... Oh, we do trade with them. What is this then? Why does it say... No, we don't trade with them. Oh, there it is. I just read break trade agreement and I just assumed it was with England. But we can force them to break a trade agreement with someone else. But yeah, I definitely want a trade agreement with England. That's going to bring in so much cash, right? There you go. Very nice. Oh, and I can trade even more. I'm telling you, man. Taking that port city. Very useful. I could trade with the Dutch, I suppose, mm, or I could trade Bologna, mm, or Castilla. Let's trade with Castilla, I think they have more resources than I'm interested in. What is this, weed? Grain, okay. Now I'm offering them more than I'm getting. I don't really know how that works exactly, the trade resources, but I produce my own grain, I don't need your grain. Can you give me olives? Oh, you can give me a lot of shit. Olive oil, salt. We're importing salt. You have no excess of this resource, so we gain no additional income. Uh, same with olive oil. And we export manufactured goods and grain. No, they're not interested. That's a shame. Uh, what about Bologna? Surely they have olive oil as well. I just want my olive oil, man. No, you don't have olive oil. Then don't talk to me. Toulouse, do you have olive oil? No. Why do you not... What about the Dutch? They have weed, right? Marijuana? No, they have nothing. Come on, I want some resources out of this. Pizza. Olive oil? Wine. I'll take wine. Oh, come on. It seems I can't even be picky, man. No one wants to sell me their stuff. Please. Gusty. Surely you have something good to offer. I don't care. The one that doesn't have anything to actually... Wait, I can get more trade agreements? I can get trade agreements with the Almohad... Caliphate, but they really don't like me, so I won't do that. To lose, surely you have something useful. Money. It's a good way to get to know other factions and religion. I can trade with so many people all of a sudden. This is fantastic. Oh, yes, more trade. I can trade with everyone. Oh, it's going to bring in so much cash. I'm going to be the trade partner. The Dutch have always wanted to be. You want to trade with me? Yes. I'm a trading genius. Surely I must be getting tons of money after this. Now everyone wants to trade with me because I have so many goods to offer, right? Even you, Sicily? No, not you. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Everyone else... Uh, maybe Hofsit Sultanate? What can you trade me? Nothing. Nothing special. Alright. What's my income now? One point... That's the same as before. <laughs> Alright, in turn, can I appoint a governor in Rouen? Yes, I can. And Ferdinand has an un... Okay, so that's a general, and that's my faction leader. So I need to make him good. Personal influence, yes. I need more influence. Yeah, we got a lot of influence now. Good. We can assign... Oh, here's another skill. Um, extra authority seems good. He has a coif. Okay. I can give him a shield bearer. Gives him extra armor. Uh, we can assign a governor. Who do I want? Oh, Bertrand is an administrator. Extra tax. Yeah, that seems like a no-brainer. All right. And then an edict, which I think I'll just pick the same one. The rural wayhouses just to get the growth. We already have two population surplus here, which is fantastic. Uh, right. So we need to... Yeah, we need to rebuild the settlement, get the garrison back. Uh, mission succeeded, and apparently we got a church as well. And seeing as we captured Rouen, we didn't build a church, but we captured a settlement that had a church, I assume. 
Okay, that's France. And Brabant wants to be allies. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want that. Oh, they don't want to be allies. I want a non-aggression pact. Yeah, I'll take that. Even though I'll take Brabant at some point. I want Antwerp. I want to unify Belgium under my rule. But for now, I'm at war with France. So that seems like... Hmm. I'd be biting off more than I would be able to chew, so I'm not going to do that. So sure, I'll accept your non-aggression pact that kind of protects my rear. And then let's see what England is doing. Are they still going after Paris? I wouldn't mind holding Paris for you. Yeah, they're still besieging it. I saw an army moving from, where was it? Yeah, over here. I can see them. Fury of the Righteous. Philippe. Isn't that the king? Seems like it's the king. Yeah, that's the king. Hmm. Bordeaux is in the hands of the English. Oh, that's a very cool looking settlement. Look at that. Beautiful. Not sure why there's confetti falling from the sky, but hey. Alright, so what other settlements have France got? They got Lyon, Orléans, and Paris. Is there anything here? At uh, Bretagne? No, there is not. No, that's all Ile de France. Okay, I see. And there's Aquitaine, which is... That's part of Bordeaux? Yes, yeah, so that's one large region here. So they only have three regions, so if I prepare for more warfare, uh, we should be able to continue onwards. Um, Alright, can I upgrade any of these settlements? Or buildings? No. And uh, we're just waiting for more growth here as well. Uh, there is disease, so I need to somehow get more... Yeah, I need to clean up. Does anything here give me sanitation? Don't think so. Nah. That's a shame. Okay, Rouen is under control. People kind of like me. I'm making a nice amount of money. The Canton of Schwiz... What is that? Switzerland? I assume it is. Uh, has declared war on France as well. Everybody hates the French, man. No one wants to deal with the French. Uh, so yeah, I'll just wait for my troops to be restored. However, I might just look towards replacing some of these units. With some better ones. Those falconeers ran at the first sight of battle, so they will be replaced. Uh, I could get some levy archers, that might be useful. Or I could get more dismounted connects if I wait a little bit. Yeah, let's get more connects. Connects have just proven their worth tenfold in that previous fight. Alright, alright. I don't know, man, I'm kind of buzzing. I'm feeling good. I'm just happy we already took a settlement of France so early on. I feel like France is going to be one of the earliest factions to just completely wither away. It's kind of funny to think about, seeing as they were one of the powerhouses in medieval times. But hey, Now that territory shall be mine, and I will make olive oil and wine and beer and poof, everything nice. There's so many factions in this game, though. Jesus Christ. No Pope elected. His holiness the Pope has been gathered up to God. Oh, rest in peace. Ending a fruitful chapter in church history. A new pope has been elected without delay. This man has a chance to guide all Christendom. Few are more important or hold more sway than he does. All good Christian leaders should support a new pope if called upon to do so. It can only be for the good of their kingdoms, but be aware by the same token that crossing him could have dire consequences. I wonder, does he keep the, the kind of order to go to on a crusade? Is that still in effect? Or is that no longer the case, seeing as it was a, an order by his predecessor? I guess we'll never find out. Alright, we got our first next. Austria and Norway are at war. They don't even border them, right? Right? Norway is pretty far away from Austria as far as my geography is concerned. I don't think Norway had any settlements down south. Okay, what is this? England wants me to join that war against Burgundy. Sure. I actually kind of assumed I was already at war with Burgundy, seeing as we're at war with France. Alright, he's pulling back an army from Paris. Did he lift the siege or did they already take Paris? What's going on? Hmm. I hope they haven't taken Paris. I would love to take Paris myself. That would be... I don't like Paris myself. I've been to Paris only once in my life, but I, I just don't like that city at all. Oh, what is this? They <gasps> use fault! It's crusade time, my boys! I love that they recreated the cutscene from Medieval 2. It's like the exact same cutscene, beat for beat, just in the new engine. Uh, looks so nice. Look at that. Oh, 
the sign of the cross and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs or die trying. Oh, looks so good. The Fifth Crusade! Oh no, the Pope is formally declared at the beginning of a holy war against the Muslims in Egypt, seeking to re-establish Christian rule in lands long lost to the Saracens. If Cairo can be taken, the rest of Egypt will soon fall and then can be used as a staging ground for an attack to retake Jerusalem. That sounds like a terrible plan. So, uh, do I have to join the Crusade now, or what? So we're still at war, let's see, Holy Roman Empire declared war with the Dutch, Sicily and Holy Roman Empire are at peace, Brabant and Norway are at war, interesting, and then we've encountered Burgundy because we're at war with them. Paris, seemingly the siege has ended. Come on England! Let's scout ahead. Do we have any chance of taking Paris? They probably have the meanest garrison you've ever seen. Oh, it looks destroyed as all hell. Oh man, their garrison is trash. And there's their king, the Roi de France. Hmm. I could just go for it, right? What's stopping me from taking Paris? <laughs> Not a statement I thought I would be saying on episode one <laughs> of our campaign. Absolutely nothing is stopping me from taking Paris. Alright, well that is going to be the start of episode 2 then, so to keep you guys hyped, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Do let me know, leave a comment, leave a like if you did enjoy it, it's the best way for me to kind of gauge interest in anything that is not Divide and Conquer. Uh, I had a lot of fun, I will be continuing the campaign regardless, but of course your support means the world. If you have any tips or tricks, do let me know, um, but also don't tell me too much. I do still want to go in blind for the most part, don't be too much of a backseat gamer, that's no fun. But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on episode 2 where we shall do the Siege of Paris.